Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining today. So today we are going to talk about uh, record level and field level security and permissions, how you can restrict uh, access to data in a certain table to certain people. So, uh, most of the time you need something simple like advanced security, but sometimes you need to pick specific records that users will be able to see, view, edit, etc. And it's uh, just slightly more complicated, but not that difficult. In this project, we have a user table, which is very simple, just username, password, and I have added country country field. I hope you can see it. Uh, admin, admin, test, test, user, user. So you can test it as well when you download it. By default, if we build it now, with my code commented out, all users will see all customers. This is a default setting, right? This is how it works. I reload this page. I'm logged in as a user user and all users see all 90 customers. Uh, the easiest and most common option that you can use here is to use advanced security. Let's go here and table customers and we're going to link uh, the login table uh, yeah we select option users can see and edit their own data only and ownership field is going to be country field in uh, login table and the same country field in the main table customers so Click OK. So if I uh, take a look at uh, our user user, we're going to see only records that are in Spain, only customers that belong to Spain. So let's do this. Let's build it. We didn't do that. When, when we change security settings, yeah, we probably need to log out and log in again. OK, let's see. Yeah, it works. Okay, yeah, so we see that user user only sees uh, customers from Spain. Same thing, if you use our test test user, uh, they are going to see only customers from France. Yep, it is, customers from France, yeah. So it's uh, this is the most common option. It's uh, very simple and it just works. Uh, if you need something slightly more complicated, dynamic SQL query, uh, there is an option to add the web clause to the SQL query dynamically and after table initialized event. If we, what we do have here, we can uh, add a web clause to SQL query dynamically. It can be any sort of web clause, it can be any kind of logic. But in our case, we're also going to do something that is simple. We paste our query and it's going to be something that is different. What we're looking for here is something like country equals country from the login table. So this is how we do it. First of all, okay, let me make it uh, font slightly bigger so you can see it. First of all, we are going to use, as we recommend, prepare SQL function that replaces placeholders with actual values. Uh, this is a secure way to craft your own SQL queries. And you can make it work with just uh, the web clause. Doesn't need to be the whole SQL query. Country equals in single quotes, uh, parameter number one. And here we're going to use function car, uh, current user data that provides convenient access to uh, data that's stored in the login table, which means we can access it username, password, uh, country, etc. And user data is 
NRI and field name is Kante. And function that we're going to use is uh, prepare SQL. Uppercase, yeah, like this. So what we do here, we use prepare SQL function that will replace parameter number one with uh, country value from the login table of the current user. And here we just use our SQL variable. Uh, the question about uh, prepare SQL and parameter one. That's a common, uh, common standard. So in every language that you use C, C++, PHP, there is an option to specify a placeholder and later placeholder will be replaced with something. Let me show you the manual that applies to prepare a SQL function. This is a great question. This is something that is very useful because we recommend using this function everywhere instead of concatenating strings in your SQL. So here's an example. Example three. Uh, we specify prepare SQL and we do in select uh, from customer table where username is session of user ID and age is more than semicolon one first parameter and last name parameter two. And then after the comma, we specify the age value, which is the first parameter and Smirnov, which is the second parameter. So parameters are coming from additional arguments that we specify and prepare SQL function after the initial SQL string. It can be any number of parameters here. Yeah. Can be one, can be can be zero, can be five. So we're no longer using advanced security, but we're doing the same thing using dynamic SQL query. And let's log on as test test again and see. Yeah, customers from friends. Okay, if we log on as admin admin, because admin do not have any country specified. Let me show you. Admin, admin, no country specified. If we log on as admin admin, we should not be able to see any data. Let's uh, take a look just in case. Customers, okay, no data. Active Directory. Active Directory is slightly more complicated, but it's going to be, definitely it's going to be a dynamic SQL query where we can use, uh, we can also use security API functions to pull the username or uh, user group. Okay, let me switch to asperunner.net for this question. And what we're looking for is a security API. Uh, security API, security API. Okay, get username. For instance, yeah, we can get the username and we can use this username in our dynamic SQL query. Same thing with uh, getting the user group. We can get the current user group and we can also do it in our dynamic SQL query. Unfortunately, I believe this is the only way uh, to make it work. I don't think you can make it work with uh, advanced security because it relies on data that is in the database. So with uh, Active Directory or any other third party security provider, it's uh, just uh, slightly more complicated, but you can still use a uh, dynamic SQL query. Uh, I believe we even have an example of doing that. Then, okay, let me search uh, dynamic SQL query. Yeah, that's the idea. If you take a look at the dynamic SQL query article, you can see that we check in the username, and if it's not admin, we restrict 
uh, data by the last seven days. But if it's admin, admin will see all the data. And the same thing can be done with uh, a user group, or we can check if a user is an admin, etc. So, dynamic SQL query will help with uh, Active Directory.